Hi, and welcome to part three of the 2015 exam for probability methods um, range of YouTube clips. Um, so we're on question two. A study is co conducted of 1,500 randomly selected candidates for an international examination to investigate whether year 12 candidates were as successful as those from year 13. The results are summarised in the table below. Now, this is a contingency table. They've conveniently already given you the totals of each row and column, which is very handy. Um, if they don't give it to you, then you should try and put the totals in yourself. Okay. What proportion of candidates in the study pass the examination? So what are we comparing? So here we want proportion of candidates. So that's everyone, which is 1,500, and they want those who passed. Conveniently up here. So the probability, or proportion, is equal to 1,200, excuse me, 200, yep, over 1,500, which is equal to About 80% or 0.8. Okay, and that's it. There's not much space, so obviously they're not expecting much. What proportion of candidates who failed? So it's out of those who failed. The examination were from year 12. Okay, so they want those who failed. So they want those who failed. They want out of those who failed were year 12, so it's 33 out of 30, 300. Um, you could leave it as a fraction if you want, um, and that would be fantastic. If you are insisting on putting it in decimals, you can put it in decimals as well. Okay. There were about... 52,500 candidates from year 12 and 13 who attempted the examination. Using the results of the study, how many candidates would be expected? Remember, we can't give an exact amount because this is just a sample. And because it's just a sample, we can only guess or estimate, okay? So how many would we expect to be from year 13 and pass the examination? Okay, so we want pass and we want the proportion first. So we want pass and year 13. So it would be, what were the numbers again? 853. 853 over 1200. 1,200. Okay, you don't have to work this out straight away. We can just multiply it by how many candidates there were. Okay, because this is all basically proportions. So that would give us about... Twenty nine thousand eight hundred and fifty five. Oh, excuse me. It is claimed that year thirteen candidates. So here, the claiming something, are four times more likely to fail the examination. Now, this is comparative risk, okay? So when you're doing comparative risk, you need um, one risk and the other one, and you need to divide one from the other. What are they actually asking here? Well, we need year 12 failing which we already worked out, 
We need year 13 failing. And which one are we comparing to which? Remember, we want one of these divided by the other. So we want year 13s being more likely to fail. So year 13s would be underneath. Then the year 12 candidates. So we want year 12 on top, then year 12. Okay, we've got um, year 13 ca candidates more likely to fail than year 12. So we need, year, we need to divide by the year 13s here. So what have we got for year 12s? We've got... 33 out of 300. Three hundred, three eighty. Sorry, out of your twelves. No, we haven't already calculated. So out of year twelves, those who failed is thirty three out of three eighty. And out of thirteen, year thirteen, those who failed. Okay, so 330 out of 380. We want all of that divided by our year 13s, which is 267, 267 over 1120. Okay, so that should give us something like um, 2.74 blah blah blah, 2.74, okay so that was, um, whoops, Year 12 risk divided by, oh, sorry, year 13 risk. Okay. Um, have we answered the question? State whether or not you agree with this claim showing full calculations to support your view. Okay, so we've finished our calculations. Are the year 13s more, four times more likely than the year 12s to fail? Uh, is that equal to four? No, it's not. Is it close? No. Okay. That leaves us to our answer. Calculated relative risk is 2.74 times more likely for year 13s to fail. This is not close to four, therefore, claim is not justified. Okay. And that brings us to the end of part three. Thanks for watching.